Okay, so um, the archi internet archive is dead, basically. After they got hacked, they were also getting DDoS attacked. I've heard conflicting stories for why. Apparently, the hacker considers archive.org to be an official asset of the U.S. government and therefore an asset of Israel, and so they hacked it. And then I don't know why the guy DDoSing it is DDoSing it, but it's a known thing. So they've been out for over a week now. I want to say even maybe two. And that's a big blow to people. But now they're looking at the centralized archive service and like, wait a second. This archive that plays tit for tat and removes uh, certain people's information from their archive at will, black holes entire websites and 10 years of history from those websites. Can we trust archive.org? And so the small independent um, archive open source do-it-yourself things have responded. Archive box is a thing that I've actually tried out, but it wasn't good enough when I tried it to, because uh, what I wanted to do was import a bunch of archives into uh, the Kiwi Farm server. And I tried playing with them, and it didn't work out that well. Um, but they have announced taking advantage of this with 76,000 views that they're going to uh, do some work to uh, help the internet decentralize archives and um, try to help carry the burden that archive.org was carrying almost by itself. And we don't talk about archive.is for a very specific reason. Um, but he says, and this is um, Sweeting, I forget his first name, but he's a bit full of himself. In wake, of, He's like a long hair from Portland, so he's probably gay. Is in the wake of the recent attack against archive.org, Archive Box has been getting some increased attention from people have, wondering how to self host their own archives. Yasser Kadoru says, I used to solely depend on Wayback Machine to archive or automate archiving pages. Now I'm using an archive web pages using Selenium Python package. Um, this told me not to depend on third party services. Might as well self host archivebox.io. Uh, and they were talking, and the reply was like, Yeah, it was great. So there's some questions about how they want to make a uh, archive of their own using a decentralized service. Uh, so they ponder the ethical quandaries of such an archive, if you can predict where I'm going with this. He says, in an era where fear of public scrutiny is very tangible, people are afraid of archiving things for eternity. As a result, people choose not to archive at all, effectively erasing that history forever. We think people should have the power to archive what matters to them on an individual basis. We also think people should be able to share those archives with people they want, with only the people they want. The modern web is a different beast than it was in the 90s, and people don't necessarily want everything to be public anymore. Internet archiving tools should be keeping up with the times and provide solutions to private and semi-private content in this changing landscape. Um, and then he has in this section, what if the content is evil? That's an interesting word to apply to a genuine, true-to-life, as-it-was archive, a snapshot of something that existed. But he says, uh, there is content that unfairly benefits from the existence of free public archives like archive.org because they act as a mirror or amplifier when original sites get taken down. There is value in preserving racism, violence, and hate speech for litigation and historical record. But is there a way we can do without effectively providing free public hosting for it? Um, and then someone just says the words, brave of him to dare utter these words of curse on the website Reddit, but he simply says, uh, Edgineer simply says, he whispers quietly to the developer, Kiwi Farms. And the developer reels back, he cringes, his hands contort in agony as the hot knife is thrust into his very brain, and he says, mm. There are people that maintain non-public archives of stuff like that for litigation, long-term archival storage. Think sealed boxes intended for future generations of historians. Only libraries, lawyers, journalists can run their own web recorder, perma.cc, etc. instances. I think that's a reasonable middle ground. We don't necessarily need every single piece of heinous content mirrored for free access 24-7 the moment it appears anywhere on the lowercase i internet, as long as there's some historic record somewhere that's probably okay. Mm. Very tantalizing. 
We have to be careful of the damage that we cause by archiving. Archives can be used for good, such as destroying Nazi bigots by litigating them. But it can also be used as bad by, um, for instance, allowing things that I disagree with to exist. We have to be very careful with this. I'm going to say there was something else that was kind of tangential to this, but I, I lost it. I might just be thinking of this. Um, I, I, the, archiving is also something. We have so many archives. Like, if archive.is went down, we'd be fucked. There's so much shit on the forum that's only archived by archive.is. And I would really like to make an archive system that can import shit from archive.is. I don't know if archive box does that yet. Because what happened is years ago, I actually have a GitHub comment on their repository, and I was like, I pulled a list of all the archive.is and archive.today mirrors, and I gathered them together, and I tried to create some way to like import the, the archives into their system, and I ended up with like 100,000 links. And I was like, can, is there any way I can import like 100,000 uh, copies of archive today into this? And they're like, um, no. Not really. That's a lot. So I just gave up. Um, but maybe one day, once we're bankrolled, once those CIA and SA checks finally cash, I keep getting told that I uh, am receiving, uh, I'll set up my own archive. Find some way. I'll create a new name, and I'll leave a comment like, Hello, guys. Hello. It's me, Luna Transflag. I, um, I'm heck invalid, and I was wondering if I could archive a bunch of stuff from this Nazi archive site. For litigation purposes, I'm suing them for hate speech. Uh, can you guys help me out? And then Nick Sweening will be like, oh my god, yes, Queen Slay. I will, do, I will put in literally hundreds of hours of free development time for you so you can accomplish this. And then I'll be like, psych, I was a bad guy all along. That's my 100-year plan to get free. I bet you could do that. She just poses like a tranny or something and you like message these fucking retard simps like, hey, I need this feature and I'm trans. Can you make this for me? And they'll be like, oh my God, yes, I can. I can actually. That's how you get the work done. You gotta, you gotta be, uh, it's called guerrilla warfare. Look it up. Thank you for watching this clip. This is Perspicacity. Remember to like and subscribe.